Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell from the title, we are doing another luxury haul. I am partnering with Goelia on this video, so I will be starting with some clothing pieces from them. If you're unfamiliar with Goelia, they were established in 1995, and their mission is to basically combine fashion with travel, which is perfect for me since I am always traveling, and many of the apparel pieces I will be sharing with you guys from Goelia, I am bringing with me on my next trip to Japan. Guelia advocates Chung fashion and they use high quality fabrics and designs for all of their pieces and their pieces are also quite price friendly. So you're getting really high quality pieces at a more affordable price point. I am wearing the first piece that I'll be sharing from them already. I absolutely love this top and the material is amazing as well. And I love the material of this as well. It's very breathable. Um, I don't feel like I'm wearing a very thick fabric and I believe it is going to be warm in Japan which is where I plan on wearing a lot of these pieces. So I like that aspect and it's still conservative. It has a higher neckline which I like. I don't like to wear anything that's too revealing as I've mentioned in prior videos. And sometimes it can be difficult to find pieces that still look nice and are high quality while still being a breathable material. So I absolutely love this first piece. Um, I think this might be one of my favorites. I love again the high neckline and uh, the modest look while it's still being breathable so it's perfect for warmer weather. Here's the next piece from Goelia. I absolutely love this piece. It's a silk fabric and I love silk especially for summer. It's one of those breathable materials that you know, if you wear something like this, it's definitely on the more modest side. I definitely prefer a more modest and elegant look. It's still breathable material because silk is obviously high quality. It also came with this and the Ziploc that you can use as a belt for the dress or you can obviously wear the dress without the belt. So I love this piece and again, I love how it's a higher neckline. I don't like the revealing pieces. I just love how this also has a little bit of a romantic look to it. So um, I'd say it's more on the short to midi size uh, dress length. And everything is in a size US4 or a size small. Um, when I was looking on the website, I did get to pick these pieces out. It does say on there that the model is wearing a size large. Um, I think that was maybe an error or something. Maybe they fixed it by the time this video is up. Um, so if you see that, I usually do use that for someone like myself where you look at what size the model is for reference. Um, I usually go with the size that the model is wearing or maybe one size up. Um, it says the model is wearing a large. Um, I think they're probably wearing a size extra small because I'm a US4. And these are all in a size small and they fit me perfectly. And I love this design as well. Um, you would definitely see a piece like this being sold for a lot more than Goelia's price points of their clothes, especially for silk fabric. I absolutely love this piece. I did pick this out for Japan. I am aware that the style is more of a Chinese retro, but I thought it also could work for Japan. Um, I have seen like a lot of dresses kind of similar to this style uh, worn by people that actually live in Japan. So I thought this would be a nice piece to wear there. Um, and this is also silk as well. I just love how this piece is very different. This isn't a piece that you see often um, being worn at all by people that live in the US. Um, if you live somewhere else, maybe they wear pieces like this, but even this intricate design here, I, I don't really see this in the US. So I absolutely love this piece. And again, I love the modest length of the neckline um, and the material is still very breathable because it is silk. Next is this wool jacket and I liked how the button, so I'm going to remove this in a moment, came with this little wrapping over them to protect them through shipment. So let me remove these now. Here are the buttons, it's this beautiful gold metal. And I love how this looks very French and elegant and it looks almost like something that I would see being sold by like Balmain, but this is obviously a much more affordable price point. So you're getting the luxury look and the material at a much more affordable price point than many designer brands would sell something like this for. I definitely will be getting a lot of use out of this. Next are these black trousers. It might be difficult to see here, but you'll see them on and how they look, the color a little bit better. It's just plain black in a moment. Um, so I really like these. So it has a little bit of a slit, which creates more of a dynamic when you're walking and can make you look taller sometimes. I'm already 5'8", so I don't know if I need extra height um, necessarily, but if you were on the shorter side, that is something that can sometimes make you look taller. And then it has these pockets here on the side and um, just a classic pair of black trousers. Everybody needs this in their wardrobe. I feel like classic black, white, and beige trousers are something that everyone needs in their wardrobe. And it is a kind of breathable material. It's probably not something I would bring on a summer vacation, but it's just something classic you can wear most of the year, um, or if it's a little chilly outside, um, or maybe just slightly warm, then you could wear this with even like the top I have on that's also from Guelia. Next is this white uh, short sleeve breathable material top and I love how this is a breathable material yet the neckline is again I like a higher neckline um, and the short sleeve is a little bit longer than your typical short sleeve which I like as well and it just looks very elegant so I definitely love this and it's again that nice breathable material similar to the top I'm wearing right now from Goelia. Next piece is this beautiful merino wool material piece and it's long sleeve and it's very similar to um, in the sense of the print the design 
as what I'm wearing right now, but this is obviously if the weather is a little bit colder, so this is kind of a long sleeve version with a collar and a zipper um, of what I'm wearing at the moment. And I just love this design, it's very elegant and it almost has like a nautica look, which I absolutely love. And I like the zipper, so if you get a little claustrophobic like myself, you can always unzip it just a little bit. Um, I probably wouldn't unzip it all the way because I like more coverage, but I like having that option. Next piece from Goelia is probably going to look very similar to those of you who watch like all of my hauls. I hauled a Missoni sweater that was definitely, I think, around $600 and maybe $800. Um, I did purchase that on sale, so it might have been like $400, $450, I think is what I spent. I think the original price was $850, so even the sale price is $450. And this one I think is, I don't recall the price, um, but I'll have everything linked down below. Significantly less than um, Missoni, obviously, and I do have, as you can know from the title, pieces from Missoni to haul in this. I do love that brand. And it was very similar in the sense of starting out with this sort of white or cream color, and then it kind of has this, what I like to refer to as like a sunset design towards the bottom and it looks so so similar to that Missoni one. If I had seen this first I would have just purchased this instead of the Missoni one um, but if you did like that sweater I hold and maybe didn't like the price this is definitely a really nice alternative. Last piece from Guelia and again I just love how everything came in packaging I always pay attention to that and I like how this came very beautifully um, folded. It was folded very beautifully and I love this it's very similar to that sort of Chinese retro design um, dress that I already shared from Guelia, but this one is in a cream color. It has this sort of like jacquard material uh, design throughout it, so it's sort of a cream on cream design. And I just love how classic this is. It's very different. Again, I like this design here, um, very similar to the other dress I shared, but it's just very different than anything that I see anyone wear, at least where I live. I don't really see this, even online on like, designers typical websites that everybody shops from. I don't ever see dresses like this. Um, they could very well have them and I've just never seen them. I just like how it's different, it's unique, and it's very elegant and I just love this cream color. I'm very, very into cream pieces at the moment. So I absolutely love this and the material is very nice. So that's it for the Guelia portion of this video and now we're going to get into some pieces from Missoni. So the first thing from Missoni is this headband. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know I absolutely love Missoni's headbands, especially for summertime. I probably own like 10 of them. I'm obsessed with these for summer and I love these for summer specifically because my hair is naturally very frizzy and wavy. I'm wearing my hair natural at the moment um, but it's kind of toned down because I've used products and I had it up in a clip. Um, you know I let it dry up in a clip that way it would be a little bit more tamed but if I'm at the beach or swimming and you know the pool, ocean, whatever it is on vacation I can't exactly like bring my whole hair care routine to the beach with me so it just ends up drying naturally in the full frizz effect. So these definitely are something that can help me to not look crazy when I'm at the beach and my hair is out to here and all frizzy. Just putting this kind of like over here on my head um, and it kind of just helps to me to look more like maybe it was an intentional beach wave sort of look. Um, it just makes me look more put together so I really like these. And they're also just good for if maybe I don't feel like styling my hair and I don't you know want to waste the time of blow drying it, straightening it, styling my hair is a long process. Um, and I'm on vacation, and I'm going to be swimming every day anyways, getting it wet again, then just wearing this, you know, out to breakfast or whatever, just wearing my hair natural. It just helps me, for me personally with my hair type for me to look a little bit more put together. Next piece from Missoni is this tank top. Um, this isn't necessarily anything special. I wouldn't say this is a run out and buy it piece by any means. I just like to share with you guys pieces that I purchase, especially because you guys tend to be more interested in the designer pieces. Um, it's not a wow piece in my opinion. Um, if anything, I think it actually looked better on the website. However, um, it just looked like it had a little bit more like metallic in it, but it doesn't look metallic in person. Um, so this piece, I'm not, it's not like a favorite. I just wanted something that I could wear, um, you know, that's nice quality and stuff um, during the summertime, like over a bikini or something, and then maybe wear like white linen pants with this. And the last thing from Missoni is this Chevron bikini, their classic Chevron. I love Missoni's bikinis. If I could pick like one brand, do have almost like all of my beach wear from. It would definitely be Missoni. I just love their fun prints. It makes it look fun. Um, and it's just kind of different than just your average like black bikini. I do like to dress more just neutral tones and classic like this piece and all the these pieces for my apparel on an average day I'm walking around. But for beach wear, I like kind of more something a little bit more fun. And I do still like, you know, classic pieces for beach wear as well. I just love something about Missoni's just iconic chevron print. For beach wear, especially the bikinis, is something I'm just immediately gravitating towards. Anytime I see it, I probably purchase like one or two Missoni bikinis every summer because I just love their bikinis. So that's this one and I kind of like how it has this sort of band here. It provides a little bit more protection. I do have a larger breast size um, than most people. 
Um, I'm like a size 34D, so I do like to have extra support because I have had bikinis, typically just the classic style bikini, where there's not this band here. And I do have some of those from Missoni uh, as well. And sometimes it can fall off upon jumping in the ocean. And obviously I fix it before exiting the ocean, but it just is something that I thought maybe this could help prevent because of that sort of extra um, band. And here are the bottoms and everything is always in a US 4 that I haul you guys. So unless I gain or lose weight, I'll address that if the size is different, but everything's in a US 4. Last piece I will be hauling today is this gorgeous caftan from Tory Burch. I don't own very many pieces from Tory Burch. I think I have heels from them and some flip flops um, that are just like for the beach or whatever. No, I don't wear them on an average day. Uh, I just don't like the look of flip flops for every day. I think they're just strictly something you wear at the beach. I don't own any clothing from Tory Burch at all. So this is my first purchase um, from their apparel department. And I love the loose fit of caftans. So it, it's something very, very comfortable and it still looks very elegant. If anything, in my opinion, caftans sometimes look more elegant um, to wear. Let's say you're having lunch at a resort or something. That's just what I typically do in the summertime. I'm traveling, um, so I'm just at a resort. And so just to wear like a caftan, so you just look more put together um, going out to lunch at the resort or if you left the resort, whatever. Anything for summertime, I think caftans, you know, it's warm outside, you don't want to wear pants and a long sleeve or anything like that. So the caftan is just something nice. I try to avoid denim shorts. I do sometimes wear them. I did wear a pair of white denim shorts in a recent TikTok outfit video, but I try to avoid them because they just are a little casual um, and not so elegant or put together in my opinion. Um, so caftans are something really nice because sometimes it can be difficult in the summertime to wear pieces that still make you look, you know, modest, elegant, etc. Um, while still being a breathable material. So I love caftans for that reason and this one is so beautiful. I love the design on this one and um, it's a little different than the other ones I have. The other ones I have are silk. I'm not sure the quality of this. I think it's cotton um, so it doesn't have the usual like silk sheen that a lot of my caftans tend to have so I thought it was just something different. Um, and it is obviously purple and it has a design on it, so it's not something that you can wear, you know, maybe twice on a vacation without people knowing you're wearing the same thing. It's going to be noticeable. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was something different than everything I own. And I just love caftans for summer. I am obsessed with caf caftans. Amazonia bikinis is all I need for summer. And then at the end, it has these tassels that are uh, wrapped. So here is how the tassels look. I think it's just beautiful. I don't typically like um, tassels on clothing pieces because sometimes when you're washing it, it can become difficult. But for caftans anyways, I usually have to have those dry cleaned. So, you know, I let them figure it out because I certainly would not know how to wash a piece that has a tassel. And this, I believe, is just in a size small. Yes, this is in a size small. It's quite oversized, you know, I think that's the, well, how it's intended to be. Caftans are supposed to kind of have an oversized, loose fit look. I just love the look of caftans. I'm obsessed, so I really like this piece. So that's it for this luxury haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I will have everything mentioned in this video linked in order in the description box, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.